welcome back to my channel and I'd like to say a warm hello to all my new subscribers hey thank you for subscribing to my channel um, so it is Friday today and I am on my way to Selfridges surprise surprise and um, I'm just gonna browse see what's new see what's popping and I also made reservations at one of my favorite restaurants in London Novikov I made reservations for the Asian side so Novikov is a very unique restaurant they have two sides so they have um, the Italian side and the Asian side and I'm the type of person I love oriental cuisine I love Japanese Chinese Thai so obviously I booked the Asian side um, and also my mom is here with me as well I'm not going by myself are you happy that I put the Asian side, Mum? As long as I serve hot food, I'll be fine. Okay. That's fine. And cooked food. Yeah, my mum doesn't like raw food. But that's fine. It's not really... I don't think it's appropriate to be eating sushi right now. It's too cold. Like, this is not sushi weather. This is all about hot soups and hot dishes. So I'll see you guys once I get to Selfridges. Hey everyone, so we've just arrived at Selfridges and yeah, it's nice and warm and toasty in here so I can just wear my little blazer on which I love I hate like wearing bulky jackets and coats when I come to shop and here is my lovely mum so as I mentioned, my lovely mum has joined me today for the vlog uh, my mum always acts like a robot on camera when she actually has a really good personality but I don't know if she just gets shy or what whereas my dad, my dad's a natural well, you all can't be good at everything <laughs> yeah but you know, just be yourself just talk to the camera, talk to my audience okay, I'll try so now we're at Christian Dior fragrances Hi. I'm good, thank you Oh, very nice. I think these are the twillies. So, how do? What are these called? Sorry. What are these called? Mitsa. Oh, the Mitsa. Okay, okay. See, I always call them twillies, but they're the wrong name. It's Mitsa. Ah, oh, amazing. Oh, so pretty. I like the colors. Very vibrant. And is this silk? Yes, one hundred percent silk. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. These are exclusive to silk. So we've just arrived at Louis Vuitton and sorry, I'm checking out this bag. <laughs> the petite the petite but chapeau. Is that how you pronounce it? Let's check, let's check okay. because it's French as well, so I don't know. <laughs> Mom bought that for me from yeah, I bought it, but she bought it from the terminal buying school. Right. I need to see if my phone fits. Oh, this this bag is beautiful. Oh my god, I love it. And I think it's worth the money. It's three thousand pounds, but it's worth it. Three thousand, it's worth it. Yeah, because it's gonna last longer. Exactly, and I love the fact that it's so structured and so classic so it's like yeah so unique so classic so elegant it actually goes with my outfit yeah yeah it goes <laughs> it's in colors yeah it does <laughs> but guys i tried to put my phone in here and my accessories and unfortunately my phone with my louis vuitton eye trunk doesn't fit inside this bag and you guys know that i want this bag it's on my 2019 wish list but if my phone doesn't fit inside it then there's no point of me spending money on it I might as well get the petite mail I know that the petite mail fits my phone whereas this one doesn't it's so annoying I love it it looks nice yeah it looks cute or handheld actually on your wrist wow I love it so cute guys so cute but if you have the eye trunk it cannot fit 
So this is the larger version, which is the Boat Chapeau. Um, and it, yeah, it has a strap, a long strap. Um, and it's clearly a lot bigger. And um, I think easily my phone would fit inside here with my eye trunk. It doesn't have the top handle. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I think the petite version is a collector's item, whereas this is more of a general everyday handbag. Exactly. Exactly. This is more for, I mean, this you can wear any occasion with yeah. this with you. You can go out for a weekend with a beautiful dress, yeah. you can wear leggings like right now, yeah. more casual. It's gonna, it's gonna suit, it's gonna, it's gonna be used for any time. You're right. You get more use out of this. Yeah, yeah you, you I would say this is between like. something between the petite male and the one that we just checked. The petite, again. Okay. Yeah, because okay. the other one is a bit more formal, more elegant, mm. I would say more for even occasion. You can you can still wear on the daily basis, yeah. but this one, this one is more everyday, everyday casual. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It looks really I nice love actually. <laughs> Yeah, the style, I love the hat box style of it. I love the little um, Louis Vuitton tag, the luggage tag. Yeah, it's really cute. Um, and I've seen people, they they weave um, bandeaux through the strap, yes, 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 which looks nice. Yeah. Nice, yeah. So, a little bandeau up here as well. Yeah. So, the bag. Oh, it comes with a lock the at the top. Yeah. Okay. So you can close it. Oh, right. Okay, I didn't know that. That's cute. So yeah, this bag is cute. It's the bigger version. I just don't like the fact that it is just more supple. And I don't know. I just think the petite looks so much nicer. I don't like the fact that this doesn't come with a top handle. It's a lot more casual, a lot more for everyday, everyday wear. And the price point is a lot better on this as well. A lot more affordable. I suppose if I was to say, this one would be good because it's practical. Yeah. The other one is better for investment. This one... Okay. Well, I'm about to try on the Petite Mal because I've had my eye on this bag for years. Um, and this is another collector's piece, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. Forever. This is a trophy. Give me one second. Okay. Well, I know the monogram is three thousand five hundred. Yes. For the monogram. Three five fifty. Okay. Yeah. But I don't know how much this particular one is. Four. Is that four thousand? No, that's not this one. And Okay, this is 3,500. 3, the essay just said that all the bags match my outfits perfectly. Oh, that's so nice of you. So this is a petite mount in, I think it's the Epi level, I think, with the gold hardware and the white stitching. Oh, it's so nice, guys. It's all black as well. This, this bag is just gorgeous. I love it. People always say, on oh, the petite mail, it's a stupid purchase, but I genuinely don't believe that because it can fit your phone, it can fit quite a few items inside the bag. You can wear it crossbody, it's great for daytime, it's great for nighttime, in the evenings, dinners. It's quite, if you look inside the bag, it's quite spacious. Like that can fit my phone with my eye trunk perfectly. So it's not as small as you think. And this one is slightly cheaper than the monogram. So this is um, 3,500. The monogram is 3,550. So yeah, just for reference, it's slightly cheaper. It's cute. Limited edition. Petite chapeau. Oh, 
Oh, look at this petite mouth. That's nice. That's nice. It's very cute. With the red LVs. Who remembers the collection that LV done with the red monogram? Nice twist. Is this um in these are pajamas? Wow. <laughs> Louis Vuitton pajamas, wow. And a monogram shirt. How cute are these slides? Oh my god. I mean it's not something that I would buy. Well, I don't know if you guys are hearing that, but my mum thinks it's for the Oriental market, an Asian market. I don't know. I don't know who would realistically buy like prints with cats and dogs. Maybe someone who really loves animals. Jody. Oh, look at this couple scenes. Oh my god, so cute. This goes with my outfit as well. That's really nice. This will also be on my 2019 wish list, guys. The cup of scenes, but I want it in BB. I know. I think this size is way too big for me. I've got enough big handbags. I just like small mini bags now. But that's really pretty. Twist. I love this blue against the gold hardware. Very pretty. They've got the Star Trail boots in the Catagram print as well. Oh my god, they've got everything. Oh my god, look at this jacket. That is amazing. Patent leather jacket with the monogram print. You definitely would see you coming from a mile away wearing this jacket. And how much is this? £3,850. They even have the front row sneakers with the catagram print on the laces. I've never seen this before. Guys, look what I found. Judith Lieber handbags. This is what Kim Kardashian collects. If you watch the Kardashians, you'll know that she is obsessed with this brand. And I think everything is Swarovski crystal. It's a bit tacky. I don't know. It's not something I would collect. Well, obviously I can't afford to collect this, but I don't know. It's a bit much, in my opinion. But, um, look at these um, SLGs, these Dior these mini saddle SLGs. Some sunglasses. You even got some gloves as well. It's nice. So this is the latest edition of the Dior book tote. I really like the pattern. Oh, I just realised the pattern is the same pattern as the um, holiday collection. So here's the Dior book tote and yeah as I said it's the same print as the Dior Christmas packaging which is quite cute I just realized that I like the deep burgundy color I have to admit this was on my 2018 roast list because I was never keen on this bag but maybe it is grown on me Um, it's quite light, like for the size of the bag, it's actually quite light. It's definitely more of a travel bag. Like I, I personally wouldn't use this bag on a daily basis for work or for, you know, for pleasure. For me, this would be purely for traveling. And I don't even travel that often, so 
probably not a wise investment for me. This is the all black leather, the all leather version. Yes. So this one was 2000. 2100 and this is 2700. Oh, it's not a huge yeah. difference. It's not a huge difference yeah. considering it's an embossed leather. Yeah, this is really nice. Getting in. So this is the Christian Dior book tote in all leather. I had no idea they did this in all leather. Did you guys know this? Because I didn't. It's really pretty. And it's not as heavy as I thought it would be. And the price difference isn't that much. I think it's about £600 price difference. Okay guys, so we have finished our day of shopping and we are back in the car. I'm currently on my way to Novikov. I really love going to Selfridges because I always bump into people who I'm familiar with now. Um, so the security guards at Dior had a good little chat with them and also uh, one of the sales assistants um, at Dior called Lockie. He was the guy who helped me last year um, when I purchased my Asia Dior sunglasses. And yeah, he was there today and um, we were talking and he, he, he was surprised that I remembered him. But why wouldn't I remember him? His customer service was so good. We just found the best space right outside Novikov. Don't you just love it when that happens? Perfect. I timed that perfectly, didn't I? With Selfridges. Yeah, he did. Right outside guys, right outside. Hey guys, just thought I would do a quick OOTD. So the top I'm wearing today is this plain black flowy top um, from Dorothy Perkins. And it's got this really nice collar detail around the neck, which I like. Um, the blazer I'm wearing is from uh, River Island. It's a new purchase. And I like it because it's got a nice nude peachy tone and then it has faux leather cuffs and faux leather um, collar as well, here. I'm wearing these black rib leggings from Topshop. They're kind of like riding style leggings and I've paired it with my street wide room 5050 boots. So yes, I know what you're going to say. I look like I'm going horse riding. This is my like equestrian look <laughs> not intentional and then i'm wearing my prada cayenne handbag which i love Okay, I'm about to try frog legs for the first time. This is like a massive chicken leg from KFC. <laughs> mm. These frog legs taste just like chicken. So good. 
I'd highly recommend frog legs. Very, very good. Our mains have just arrived. So this is the chicken and honey and lime. These are Singapore noodles. This is the beef in black pepper sauce. And this is really nice. fried rice. It all looks so yummy. And we still have the dim sum over there. How do you, do you like it, mom? Are you feeling it? Mm -hmm. With the frog leg coming out of your mouth. Yeah, the frog legs are the best. <laughs> the frog legs are very good, guys. Highly recommend. So we have just finished our lovely lunch at Novikov, and look how dark it is outside now. This is what I'm saying. This is why I hate winter so much. Like the days are just so short and dark. Anyway, and it's freezing as well. And that's why I put on my aviator jacket from Zara. Um, so yeah, Mum and I are gonna head back home now because it's cold and it's dark but i've had a lovely day out i had a really nice day at selfridges and a really nice food at nobby Cove. we didn't even finish all the food like we had to take it home in um a doggy bag or just you know a takeaway bag so if you enjoyed this vlog please give it a big thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more vlogs and don't forget to follow me on instagram where we can keep in contact and until next time, I will see you in my next vlog. Bye, guys.